Olivia Almer won her first local songwriting honor at the recent 17th Compass Awards presentation, but the Singaporean singer is not about to rest on her laurels yet. <laughs> The sweet-voiced and sweet-natured 27-year-old will be showing off her dancing and acting chops in her upcoming works very soon. Razor Pop catches up with a multi-talented songbird after her win. To be true for you and me. You and Me is Singapore's top-earning local English pop song in 2011, and it won Olivia her first campus award yesterday. You know, I wrote the lyrics, and Dick Lee's a songwriter, of course, and Wang Zhiping, Wang Shiping Wang, he produced and arranged the song. Right. Mm. So who gets to keep the award? I think... Okay, they have one for you. This is the one with your name on it. Just, yeah. Right. It at the office. Okay. And I will display it for everyone to see. <laughs> Does it give you more confidence as a songwriter? As a songwriter, uh, you know, I, I feel like I haven't done much as a songwriter, mm -hmm. but I definitely would continue to try to refine my skills as a songwriter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because songwriting is on a level by itself. Olivia, who made her debut in Taiwan in 2009 and is known for her romantic ballads and jazzy tunes, will spend a short week at home before returning to Taipei to prepare for her upcoming solo concert in September. And guess what? She might be dancing. The concert is called Ai de Luo Man Shi, mm. Romance. Right. And uh, what we're going to do through music, we're going to bring everyone through different romantic cities around the world. Oh, wow. And each city will have their own emotion, own feel, each story. Okay. Yeah. Is Singapore one of the romantic cities that you're talking about? Uh, I can't really reveal that oh. yet. Though. Okay. But yeah, but the dancing would be a little bit Retro, I, I think, because uh, I'm not sure yet. They're still discussing about the details. Okay. Is it a challenge to you? Well, you know, Dong Li Jun, Teresa Teng, mm -hmm. she danced in the concerts before. Oh, okay. And I thought, I want to do that too. Okay. So, if she can do it, you can do it too. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun, I suppose. Mm -hmm. It's awesome, yeah. All right. So Olivia is going to try dancing in your upcoming concert, but what about acting? Because we know your good friend as well as your label mate, Anthony Lee, has branched out into acting and uh, the movie is quite well received. So has anyone approached you to do the same as well? I actually just finished filming a waiting in microfilm in Israel. So Israel. I definitely am interested in acting. It's different, but not that different from singing. It's still about expressing a character and an emotion. I like that you use your brain a lot, you know, like how to convey the right emotions. The role that I play in is a girl whose boyfriend just cheated on her. And so that messed up her world. She lost her self-confidence and she decided she needs to go somewhere far away, unfamiliar, to find back herself. And Israel's the place that mm -hmm. she's going. Could you feel any tension in the air? I mean, or were you oh, filming at a place that is nowhere close to the border, you know, the troubled zones? And all? Well, um, not, not really, actually. It's just, just something very special in the air, maybe mm -hmm. because of its history, but it's also very modern at the same time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the people take life there quite relaxed, you know, enjoying each other's company, which I feel that is something that Busy, you know, urban people like us can, can learn from. Playing Olivia's love interest is David Zemir, an Israeli actor. Directed by a first time film director, the micro film is slated for release on YouTube by end July. Watch out for it and don't miss Olivia's performances at the Compass Awards and our other clips.